Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on the very hardest difficulty, Unfair Plus, uh, with all of the levers cranked to the maximum. Uh, we are encountering Caligus Winter Scale and this guy is a Rogue Trader uh, by himself and no fool. He does have Tavridia's last stand, which is a crazily good axe. He does have a nice little bolt pistol. He's clearly a warrior of sorts, has hardened scars, and comes in at a whooping the 1,800 hit points. So, if you were ever in doubt whether or not we were OP, uh, search no further because um, the enemy definitely is very much overpowered um Idiria, we are going to give you extra turns in a second but before we do that the question is who can benefit from a free turn with as many shots as they want i think earlier it actually could benefit from it uh, quite a bit so finest hour earlier let's go This tedium is beneath me. She goes, I takes cover. Unseen. And I mean, let's start with a blood letter, I suppose. One. I understand two, your intent. I am three. not your Xenos pet monkey. Cover efficiency, they are not they are not in cover, so might as well give it a good shot. Just double checking. Hundred fifteen, and with that we're coming in. Hmm. What is this, by the way? Oh, that's the close range option. No, no, no. We're uh, we're going in with that beam weapon. Uh, continuing to hit him and hit him as hard as we can. Weakness is hidden from my sight. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, blood letter. This tedium is beneath. Ancestors guide me. If it that should be a kill. You moving, no more. Very good. No weakness is hidden from my sight. Hundred five. I think if we are continuing to hit each of them, the initial damage is fantastic. This guy here might even die. I am not your Zeno. I deal death with my hands. Good. Early it actually deals a lot of damage if you give her the time of the day. If it serves your cause. Good. Rydia begins to set herself aflame. On it. Continues to burn. That's not what was supposed to happen, but great to have an unsanctioned uh, Psyker. We we'll move that up course. here. Was was that you, or? 
Taking all of their stuff and can she move? No, she cannot move. Okay, fair enough. Well, Saiken so elegantly goes for cover. And we're Gucci. Jay. Might as well start by moving to here. I know what I'm doing. Going to find Usually. out whether or not that was the wisest decision. <coughs> Free grenade. Put both of them into a situation where they are burning. Don't get too cocky. You've got a problem? I've got a price. Good, and we're going with Ward and the Grey first. And Jay is taking cover back here. Cool. We're buffing everyone, healing everyone. gets another buff and uh, Saiken just starts to damage these guys a little bit. 730 on winter scale. Saiken, man, you are OP. Good, we got a new staff, uh, staff the solar staff, so I am hoping uh, this year is going to work out well. we'll do <laughs> Anyone see that? Couple of really good hits, actually. Uh, all of them continue to burn with Inferno. Uh, we can hide uh, back here in a second. To here and listen, we're just putting forewarning on ourselves. Winter scale does not have the necessary support. Elliot cannot move up, but she's quite far behind, which is good. I understand your intent. Just in case someone comes. Trying to hit uh, this guy and <coughs> excuse me, Winter Scale issues endure and vo voice of command and then goes to town with that guardian. And says get back into the fight. I like it. But I think it's a little bit too little, too late type of situation. Don't distract me. Warden the Grey. Um, we are doing that and that. And both of them taught us a very valuable lesson. Don't uh, fight against melee combatants uh, with melee combatants. Marazar very much effed that up. Uh, Nocturne, on the other hand, uh, seems to be absolutely content. Let's put the mortal enemy there. <coughs> And we are charging in. 
and we're continuing to hit or not Eighteen percent, that is not great. <laughs> that is not good. Um, I mean, we could try to hit him, but Tell me it's not going that well. Don't We're linchpinning ourselves. Am I getting paid for this? And still only 18%. Nope. Don't get Offhand. Misses as well. I'd like to, but I can't. Avalarch gets a couple of um, bonuses and we're just going to go back. So I would love to give any uh, anyone here an extra turn, but I think Jay has problems of hitting. I need no Let's try it nonetheless. I can do that with the right incentive. Nope. I've got a prize. Listen, I tried it. I will triumph. Why did I not foresee this? Orton. Was, was that you? Gets blown up. <laughs> Curb Culliger's uh, winter scales ten temper. I know how difficult it is to go uh, against the will of your own kin, and yet I cannot hide my joy that we both lived through this moment and came up with a tale to tell. I do not know a monkey who would, uh, who would benefit from betraying his own kin, but temporary alliance has fostered a fragile peace. Let us remain for now. However, I dare not to complain for my kin. The hour of triumph has arrived at least. At last. Um, once the master and flesh is no more, we can go to the edge of the stellar expanse, away from the gaze of the monkey. What are you talking about, Sharon Cray? Do not interrupt the conversation. Outcast Iliad, I have some good news for you. Our Farseer managed to contact the children of the crafts world, Alatok, and soon. Your fellow outcasts will wither, visit the part of the uh, galaxy called the Expanse by the monkey. They will take us away and give us a new home. <clears throat> it is that what an adherent uh, of the Pass of the Warrior wishes uh, to tell me? One of those words meant for com to comfort my heart. Oh, Asuran, your children once again seek to appease their pride by sending their kin to the monkey's worlds for slaughter. The Farseer's uh, mistakes doomed Kruderak, uh, Sharan K, and uh, their excessive cruelty and thirst for vengeance almost ruined those who managed to survive against uh, the odds. Uh, you know as well as I do, uh, but you keep doing their bidding. Oh, Sharan K, you, uh, uh, you could take the Webway Gate and go away from the dangers of the tribulations of the Expanse. But you have chosen to stay here in uh, deed. Have the children of Asurai uh, split not en enough, uh, spilled not enough blood? Have you been losing your home not enough? It is. It is too late to change anything the deed has done. Uh, the will is honored. The outcasts from the Alatok will come to the local stars. Iliad, the plan of your kinsmen is insane. It will take warriors of the Altok many years to discover the webway gate capable of 
uh, bringing their stars fours into the expanse perhaps you will be too old by then <coughs> and on your deathbed you will hear the tidings of the children of the Asurian coming to extract their vengeance worry not Elatak it's my turn to rescue you and your people I stood up for your kin in uh, rescue how like a forgotten shadow the solitaire steps into the light and leans forward with interest the spectator watching the culmination of an exciting performance during um, the exile I met many companions who temporarily joined me with my endless travels <coughs> one such companion was a fellow outcast who um, had already completed many paths it was he who taught me about the ritual of unity an exciting opportunity for one spirit to reach out to the touch of infinity circuit on the craft worlds familiar to the farseer who perform it. Sharakarai said that the Kruderak Farsi have already contacted Alatok. This means, this means I can too. <coughs> Has the darkness of space driven you mad during your exile, sister? Not even the ones who walk the path of the seer with all their power risks joining the soul of the ancestors inside the circuit why should the ancestors listen to a simple outcast like you said alatok it's uh, the world of my fellow outcasts so they are not going to hurt me on purpose look me into the eyes Sherkai. do you uh, wish to end uh, the suffering of our kinsmen i can send, uh, see the reply in your heart <coughs> you must accept it and help me let irlit handle it Unless the warriors of the Alatok arrive in this part of the galaxy, the sons and daughters of Kruderag are going to perish amongst the worlds and the monkey. This is the fate you wish for us. We will have to find another way. <coughs> I understand that it's not easy for those who lived <coughs> all the years sheltered with the craft worlds and accepted sometimes that life leads us down different paths. But the path that you and the forest years have chosen only leads to more pain more pain perhaps you managed to prevent the death of our kinsmen at Murian Lithanian um, Arabenian told me everything that happened not you too Ar Arabarian so be it we will give the outcasts a chance but I doubt she survives even the beginning of the ritual may assurance forgive his children fetch the farseers tell them the outcast wishes to perform the ritual we will wait for them here All right. Now, the strange energy that permeates the clearing, where the path of the humans in Alderi happen to cross gradually dissipating. All the eyes turn on Iliad, the Alderi who managed to survive the deadly ritual and woke up uh, looking th thoughtful and enlightened. Have you survived the Shurian? Show mercy, outcast, and so did the an uh, ancestors from the infinity circuit. Tell me, sister, what was their answer? I'm tired of the Farseer's blindness and my kinsman hatred, Sharankrai. All of the choices of the people led to only suffering and the loss of the loved ones. I no longer wish to be an accomplice to somebody else's hatred and pay for the mistakes of the ones who were supposed to guide us uh, through light and uh, led us into oblivion. I convinced my kin to divert the river of their anger. The outcast cohorts will arrive at the expanse unseen and unheard, but not for the sake of war. They will find and take away those who remain, the last sons and daughters of Kruderak. And then they will leave the monkey stars without a trace, forever. Brothers and sisters who don't dare to ask for more Iriot, understand your choice even though my spirit cannot fully accept it. So what is happening now? After the Master of Flesh has been dealt with, we go home as soon as possible. Okay, I would not mind cooperating in the future. I do not think it's possible, Monkey, our temporary alliance will run uh, its core out of course as soon as the ship uh, of my kin leaves the expanse. Uh, are we going to try to wiggle our way into a bit of a reward? Maybe. Sure. Gratitude of the children receives an Aldari runestone. 
the start of the wearer's turn, veil degradation is reduced by one. That's actually not too bad. Iliad, uh, will you stay with your kinsmen? I would be lying if I said I hadn't thought about it. But you were helping me and my kin the entire time to the best of your abilities. Should I not repay you in kind, Elanach? I would be glad if you stayed. She's actually quite nice. And so be it. The master of flesh uh, remained unchanged. The farseer could uh, feel the beating of his black heart, but were powerless to do anything. And they would have succeeded the monkey had not attacked our fleet. Let's try to track down the humoculus. Okay, not too bad. Unseen uncover my path. Good fight, and we got to level up. Let me take care of that and heal the trauma. All right, we have leveled up, and now it is uh, time to find wherever that remaining meat creator is located. We got a couple of interesting Let's Vox see. messages here. So, one more thing. Winter scale was less of a problem than I thought, but then again... I mean, he had 2,000 hit points, so that wasn't uh, bad either. Uh, that's a pretty decent weapon, actually. That is a pretty decent weapon. The wearer's chance of su uh, to suffer a critical hit are reduced by 20%. Me. State your intention. I never fail to be amazed just how often you can see good weapons and you just still need to double check it. Soon Kalyan uh, is unfortunately not for us. The question is, is this year better? No. Potentially not. No, 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 no. All right. Good, but not good enough. To the Van Valencius shuttle. Um, okay, so are we done here? Evidence of uh, Hemiculus Tervantia presence, uh, presence has been discovered in the interstellar world. The fastest way to reach the Hemiculus Hydos is by taking the ship along a parallel route of the southern he hemisphere. Okay, well then let's uh, do exactly that. Well, jokes on you, Winter Scale, as you have completely lost your mind. And the Emperor is my uh, witness. I tried to resolve it peacefully, but he was just out for bloodshed. I even gave him an idea that he could make money out of it or just leave with his life. But no, it was either him or the Alderi. As soon as the expedition returns, Victus Suriota hails the Emperor. Our chaplain was praying for good health and a speedy return. Allow me to inquire the fate of the Lord Captain Winterscale. Perhaps you were lucky enough to meet him. Unfortunately, in all of this time, he has still not contacted us. Hmm. Caligo's winter scale perished during the hunt. So this is how things turned out. The death of his lordship is a great tragedy for the entire dynasty. The vastness of my grief is mitigated only by the knowledge that the lord captain perished in a fierce battle. He could not ha have it had any other way. What about the deal then? As soon as the lord captain's heir claims the rightful title, I will immediately notify the new, uh, rogue trader of our agreement. Um, you may have to 
wait for a few years, the transfer of the warrant is a rather delicate affair. Uh, there are still some Xenos left on the world. You will allow them to leave unhindered. Consider it a payment for my time and efforts. We will make sure um, that they leave uh, the system. Farewell. Good. So it's time for the Hey Monculos Laboratory. Oh, and the door. Lord, we found it. The door is so close I can practically feel it. Okay. The voices are whispering over each other in both ears. I can barely make out what they're saying. Please take me with you. Very well. We will go there at once. Thank you, Lord Captain. And that means we're taking the B team yet again. But that is okay. I don't mind it. I have a lot of fun with them. They are not as OP as uh, the A-Team. But to be fair, um, we're going to take the A-Team for a ride as well. Locate uh, the Hemoculus hideout. We're going to do that in uh, just a second. But before we do that, let's do this and this and that. And then, of course, a little bit of this and that and this. And we're ready to go. My pleasure. Powers unseen, uncover my path. I like uh, with this group in particular how uh, we are still very vulnerable uh, from a defense perspective. You exude the corruption of she who thirsts. Whenever you're near, my whole being clamors for new sacrifices to drown out her call. That's just fantastic. Before they accused me of sorcery, All right, what's that? now I'm being accused of making Xenos go berserk. Just stay away from me, stick insect, all right? Wonderful. There is disagreement within my group once again. Uh, that's not new. Yeah, they just love to fight with one, each other, uh, one another. One and it's done. Seal of silence on the cogitator, but it's difficult to break it. The machine... Someone ripped every bit of useful information from it. Okay. Sharing. Did you want something? Hmm, there is a letter. I think what I want for us is to take the high ground and rain hot motor uh, uh, blasts on them. We are the spearhead of Avalard the here. Your kind has no place in the galaxy. And yeah. Avalard can get these foul aberrations or we could put him down here which I think we're going to do. Marsai goes uh, to here. Elliot, please be my guest. Saiken so stays here. And uh, Jay stays here in cover, I suppose. Good, we're starting with that. And... Let Earlier take fight. the shots. That has worked very well uh, in the past. You cannot force me, Elantak. She does a bit of that. Uh, she then does... This, 1,800 hit points. That seems to be the new norm here. Um, but we got now ourselves quite a few stacks. So at the moment we are at five stacks of tactical knowledge. Which is good. Um, a little bit of this. 
And a bit of that. And a bit of that. Another soul slips beyond the veil. Okay. I understand your intent. You Let's kill. Let's kill. Let's kill. I am not your Xenos. I deal death. That's with my two hand. kills. Never mind. Elliot, what is happening? Your cause, that new rifle of hers is crazy. <sighs> if I must. This tedium is beneath me. Ancestors guide me. Hit them very well. If it serves your cause. Hit them again. I understand your intent. Hit them yet again. Stop trying, monkey. And continue to hit cause. them next turn. Fantastic. Well. That was number one. But Idira. Let's herself burn. Uh, we're switching the staff uh, because that second staff has a lower chance of exactly that. Well, shit happens. Uh, that was very unfortunate. We'll do. Anything is. We'll do. Stop mocking me. Well, at least Iridia is burning now. You jest, surely. Living on the edge. Good. These two start burning as well. Uh, we're giving on. Why can't I attack afterwards? I do have the grenadier feature. Tell me, and it is done. Don't get too cocky. All right. Shouldn't have uh, used the grenade then. That is unfortunate. We blind uh, that thing at the same time uh, this and me. that and this Shai is just spitting out a lot of spells One step closer. Um, that and this and A little bit of that and 600 points of damage later we're doing very well thank you good we got a new spell with iridia uh now that they these guys are burning for starters um Good. We do have this here, Incinerate, which is uh, the highest uh, spell of uh, the um, of the fire domain, and for 405, that's not bad at all. We'll do. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, cool. And now, um, let's just what inflame then. That's you, not a lot of damage there, unfortunate. Tiny 
drag you into oblivion. You moving no more. All right, uh, Iliad finally came to her senses. This tedium is beneath me. Another urban um, trap. I will not. Can't hit that thing, and unfortunately, we can't move either. Which means all we can do is um, follow them. Are there manifestations down there? Oh, we got a few blue horrors. Well, it is what it is. Good, this time... Why do we have such a low chance of hitting? What's wrong with her? Jay, what is wrong? You got a good ballistic skill. You got a good perception. Things should be that difficult for you. Uh, pfft. yeah, well, it's the dodge that is the problem. Hmm. You've got a problem. I've got a prize. Elliot move moves to, to here, and that's the solution there. Um. Could that also affect? Hmm. So they are running around with 180. So it's just in general very difficult to hit them. Thanks to my absolutely cranked up difficulty. 5%. Which means she's under the minimum of hitting them. Hmm. Good, see, the target's next attack will ignore cover and distance and dodge. Abelard. Right Please, go ahead. Abelard does a little bit of this. of that I will do my duty. and then charges in just be parried unfortunately although it ignores although it ignores dodge it seemed to have been not good enough uh, Jay's build I like what she's doing but still seems to be very very difficult overall uh, uh, with just how much we've tweaked everything. A couple of grenades on the other hand uh, that uh, works well. Is that guy already blinded? No. Good. Heals everyone. More damage. I need no guidance. Seven hundred points of damage. Uh, that sounds bastard. Good, earlier. Um, I think this 
plus that will go a long way. I understand your intent. Three hundred crit. If it serves your cause. 166. She's doing very well with her damage. Perish for this affront. Good. Abelard. Careful. Carefully heals himself. It will be done. Tried and tested tactics are the best ones. Victory is Pawns both of them. Um, and let's go. Marazai. I will save my delectable anguish. Moves to here, charges. Dashes further. Dashes even further. Comes untargetable. And a couple of temporary hit points. Is not his fight. Five hundred thirty from Idira. Fabulous. Another 50. Will do. Anything else? Very good. Double parry, double hit. Triple parry, and he really just killed this guy. Okay, my only problem is Jay, but Jay is not really a problem because she can always just turn her actions uh, for the actions of someone else. I I am saying she is a problem because she does not hit anything, and I wonder why that is. Rate of fire, uh, range, that's a really good pistol. I mean, look, she is having a lot of ballistic skill. And she does have fantastic followship. I just wonder why, and she does have um, quite a bit of dodge reduction. Perception might be a little bit on the low end which is why the when we are cranking the game up just like that my success was inevitable why she might not be able to hit anything well to be fair it's five percent chance of hitting anything but still and done let's seize the opportunity Hmm, okay. Well, we're not done here yet. Make spirits. Nothing matters more. I the letics over. I like it. A job for me. Xeno's torture device has been placed out in the open. It clearly sees regular use. The cage and floor is covered with blood. Oh, it's pretty Ours solid uh, signs that he is here. All right, Marazai, I, I think you for now. need a healing for your trauma way. there. Here. 
What's that? Embrace true power. You interrupted my thoughts. I have learned much in my exile. The lift uh, call panel is unresponsive. The world my feet. Uh -oh. secret. Speak, Elantark. Too hard for a simple monkey. This very much looks like his den. Yep, there he is. Uh, before we're going uh, there, let's explore the rest. Idiria stares intently at the solid wall in front of her, shifting from one foot to the other. The wall looks like an ordinary plasteel of uh, rockcrete surface, no difference from the other here. Lord Captain, this is it, the place of my visions. Okay, go ahead and try to open it. Open that uh, door that doesn't exist. Things that you say sometimes, Lord Captain. Well, wouldn't be the strangest thing that has ever been done. Here it goes. All right, Idira. Don't mess it up. Yura steps close to the wall and reaches out towards the non-existent door. As if in trance, she clenches her finger and gripping an invisible handle and slowly turns it. You hear a click. A violet ripple tears through the space around the wall. A cacophony of whispers make your skin crawl from head to toe like an unseen wave of emanating and twisting broken reality. Lord Captain, we have found at the door exactly the one of my visions. Except it wasn't hidden by a force field contraption. Uh, it was a powerful warp barrier. I could have never have removed something like that. It is as if our arrival was expected. We best get ready. Someone knows uh, their witchcraft and is waiting inside. Whoever is waiting, I hope warp sorcery has not sapped them of the ability to fear. As long as we go together, we will go through this. Trust me. Well, you're not wrong. We have been through it, haven't we? All right, good. Well, um, just double checking really quickly. What advice do you seek? Ready as always. Uh, we need more grenades because that is exactly how she deals damage. At least some. At least some damage. Let's, Let's go, hidden door. The Secret wing of the labo laboratory. Alright, we are in the begun. center behind the door. Let's see what we're going to find. Whatever it is, it can't be good. Otherwise it wouldn't be locked behind a psychic field. I do not strike the same Build a bridge out of planks. Why is that? Why are you so accustomed to my Drakari appearance? Okay, apparently that Maybe is in order to get out of here. For my transgression. But I have had dealings with Trukari in the past. I still can't believe I emerged from those negotiations with all my limbs intact. Fabulous. Take Jay this, needs help. Out of my way. I guess I'm still alive. I follow my own path. Good, got a couple of goods here. Let's see what we're going to find. Potentially more feet. traps. This reeks for cha uh, of chaos. I wouldn't be surprised if we're finding like this massive uh, a massive chaos host. Are you kidding me? Yet another trauma. The world will bow. Oh, that's good. 
Fantastic. So let's get rid of the trauma. I think we had something that removed that. Here, removes one trauma. Thank you. I dare not provoke the whispers. And remove Don't one squirm. of you as well. Your technology Fantastic. Is limited, so, but I am grateful. Keep a sharp eye. Are you kidding me? More Xeno straps? I align my path with yours. For now. I need to find the answers. I have learned much in my exile. I'm not exactly sure what we're looking at. Oh, a Farsi over there. You can't do anything without me. Powers unseen uncover my path. Interesting. Uh, this is uh, the section where we can build a plank, right? One and it's done. Nice. Tiara of the Amatarium, uh, 10 willpower and suffer less warp damage. That's actually not too bad. My whispers crave entertainment. Something ominous lurks ahead. Intriguing. I sense something nearby. All right, build a bridge. So we at least can get back if needed. And we found some loot. Let's see. So if, uh, it doesn't look like chaos, uh, but it sure does look like a lot of problems. There is a further in my soul. Look no further. All right, Abelard. What is it? I need no far seer to guide my future. I am not afraid to it. Trading is just like art. It takes skill and talent. Don't waste my time. There is torment to be served. Yes. Okay, fair enough. Let's <laughs> Say no more. position over here. <laughs> you love to take job. Patience has its limits. I'm at your service. Good. Unless everybody no, here charges forward. Will. No, oh, it's only us. Drain Farseer. You see a contorted, agony wrecked Aldari, or more accurately, something that resembles one. Dozens of scars and sutures cover its face, the side of its mesaline joints moving under the skin. And yet, as you examine the creature's tattered cloth, you can still recognize, albeit with some difficulty, the ceremonial raiment of a Farseer. At least, my deliverance. Monke, the disgrace, the humiliation of falling at the hand of a lesser creature. Enough. The anticipation of this moment is all that has allowed me to retain the vestige for reason. And me now. Iliad says, who are you? I do not recognize, but your vestment. A child? Our dead home? I do not remember you, but it gladdens me that the cusp of death to behold of a spark of the Ashuharni. Who are you? A hollow shell forced into servitude. Every threat of my being calls out for me, urging me to claim your lives, only stopped by the fading remnants of my former selves. Quickly, I demand that you give me the death. And break the shackles of this nightmare. The Farseer's crook fingers reach for his temples, and now you notice a sinister looking device on his head. Translucent thread coils, strange, sickening patterns around the Aldaris uh, Templars, sinking into the skin of his face, neck. A dim, cold light of the laboratory, the device resembles a glistering carrion worms that are mercilessly drinking the Xenos' mind dry. 
Uh, I think that is what we're here for. I can barely see the Xenos aura in the warp. Uh, must be the work of uh, the thing in his head. All I need is the implant on your head. It's too late. My mind, it is poison. My soul is mad. I do not know what purpose you need, the cursed machine monkey, but if your mind carries a shred of reason, then destroy it along with me. Not a chance, Zenos, that thing, that Psy Stifler, could save my life. You're just weak, that's why you can't handle it. Naive child, you won't condemn yourself to a fate of true horror. Heed me when I say uh, there are far things far worse than death. What makes the device so dangerous? It hides the soul within the warp from the spawn of chaos, without severing its connection to real space, and it slowly consumes your soul. Day after day, the soul erodes and withers until nothing remains but emptiness. Is that right? You certainly talk a lot for someone who's supposed to be empty. For all of us, you must have never shut up. I spend aeons harnessing my gift. I guided an entire world, my gaze pierced into the future, looking epochs ahead. And even I am the limit, clinging desperately to the meager relic of what I once called my soul. Just to speak another word, who gave you the audacity to think that you will fare any better? So what are you? Terwillianth plaything, the master used me. By means of that which are now entangles my mind and bends me and my powers to its will, I am the tool that conceals the lair from prying eyes. Uh, your plea for help? By silent cries, the veil and send visions to the prison beyond its wards. They carried with all my dreams of deliverance and liberation. It is that not the reason that uh, for you are come of coming? Oh, this half-baked guff is killing me. What does that mean? If it wasn't your salvation, I saw you in my dreams. It was a half-dead Zeno's deliverance. Come off it. Don't you buy any of this crap, Lord Captain. He's just trying to mess with our heads. I shall grant you swift death. I'll let it be so. The Pharisee arises from his knees in a jerking motion like a broken marionette, takes step towards you with glassy eyes, his frail fingers move as tucked invisible st tugging invisible strings, and the mutilated body of the twisted creature in the tank start convulsing synchronously. In frightened unison, they uh, blink and shift their eyes to you. I thought you wanted to be killed. Now you're fighting? Oh. 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 Bring it on, witless monkey. Oh, come on. What are these things? Power from pain? Whenever the Drukari suffers warp damage or affected by psychic powers, it can use power from pain and lose all the bonuses of the ability for two rounds. Okay, and I thought these might mi be Medusae, but I was wrong. This guy, by the way, has plenty of armor, super nimble. Um... Restores wounds, overcharges, lightning arcs, and a lot of stuff. In the, what is that? The creature gains an extra turn every time an ally die, dies. They also gain an extra turn when the wounds drop below 50%. Yeah, well, uh, that's not good. All right, Iliad. Go ahead, 
destiny reshaped. Doing a little bit of this. And a bit of that. And a bit of that. This tedium is beneath me. I am not your declaring this my bounty, monkey. and uh, I think I we're going to give it a go. The swift. I am not your Xenos pet, monkey. If it serves your cause, no weakness is hidden oh, from my side. One, two, is beneath me. three, fantastic my hits, by the way. If I must. Uh, that was a miss. I am not your Xenos pet. Favors the swift. We got a lot of actions. I'll return this favor tenfold. I understand your intent. Another miss. If it serves your cause. Heal my wounds. And we'll take another shot. Okay. Idira begins to start hitting herself. Was it you? Or switch a switch a staff to not further uh, mm, to not, not further the veil. And You guys give me tactical knowledge and we're fine for My now. Has failed me. Saigon moves over here and we're good. Tell me and it's one is You've got a two, problem, I've got a price. I can do that. Three with the right incentive. Uh, we do have a free shot if we can. Oh, no. Am I getting paid for this? Good. Two more of them are burning, which is absolutely fantastic. And we're done. Very good. Uh, more buffs. We need way more buffs. One, two, three. Does anyone need healing? Marazai a little bit. Idira also, so we're good. Good. Is he successfully blinded? Um, yes. Penalty to dodge is always helpful. And we could hit him. I think we're just going to do that. Why not? Not sure if that was a hit or a miss. Idira moves up. We put this in there. Improve this. A little bit of that. Uh, 
and let's burn this guy. On it. What a Oh, 400. Lovely. If it serves your cause. Good, this here is uh, our next victim. This tedium is beneath me. So these guys take a little bit of damage. And Idira is done. Fantastic. Well, lots of clones still around. Six hundred hit points is quite a bit for a clone. If I must. If it serves your cause. Great hit. I am not your Z. Good reload and I understand your intent. Oh, we're a Gucci. Well then, Marazai. Finally. Um Are we bleeding already? Very good. Opening. And we're charging in. Unfortunately, the enemy decides to dodge. That is very unfortunate. Let's try that again. Another dodge into a counter dodge. Okay, fantastic. Well, these guys are definitely good melee combatants. So by the fact that Avalar just took a massive hit to the face, which is atypical because he typically does not take that. At your back and call. Taunts everyone. It will be done. Counter strike. And we just learned breakthrough. Um I'd rather stick with him being our natural enemy and having a bit of a fight off. All right, Jay uh, could hand over her actions. That's me. Never in a thousand seconds. One, Don't two, get too cocky. three. I can do that. Four with the right incentive. <laughs> Good. Kill this guy. He was a prey, so we should get AP back. Yep, which we've gotten. If it serves your cause, I am not your Xenos pet monkey. Okay, that was pretty damn good. And we only have a mild chance of even hitting these guys, which is hilarious if you think about it. Well, might as well give it a try. Nope. Jay's just not good at uh, hitting 
But that's okay, she can still help the others. Okay, defense. Healing for everyone. Okay, well, this could be a good hit. Um, might as well. No Fantastic hit. Now, the question is who can get more turns? Maras, I could. But will he be capable of actually hitting these guys? We're going to find out. Oh, that's not too bad. Um... Might as well just kill this guy here. Charge through. Don't distract me. Open up. Um and he gives himself a couple of extra hit points, that's fine. We all walk our own path. Oh boy. They brutally murder us. Idira included. Idira, before she heals herself, uh, this here should be good. Okay, now that these guys are gone... hundred hit points okay wow that's a lot of damage really it what is stacking so highly on her something extermination any damage the character deal uh, oh yeah that's that's a good talent heightened concentration scores a critical hit gain more armor penetration yeah that makes sense Okay, extermination is the key here for the, that massive amount of damage that we're seeing. I am not your zinc. This Put up another trap. I understand this and that, I and we should be good. Marazai. Did you really take took some damage but not that much I have to wonder we're opening this we're not charging in we're just taking a normal step and I would like to do the sec 38 is not good. Man, it's not good. Don't distract me. With grace and I think we should have maybe... Mm. They, they do have too much do cover reduction. That's the problem. Abelard heals his friend.
taunting screams. At your back and call. No matter the cost. And starts hitting these guys. Dodge. Finally a hit. On the dodge. You will pay dearly for your actions. Don't get too cocky. You've got a problem. I've got a prize. If it serves your cause. Uh oh, we killed our own. Ah. Well, Iliad is now fully alive. She has uh, hit so many times that by now she's effectively almost one-shotting every single one. That, that, I will that, triumph. and there we go. Another kill. Well done, Saiken. Um. This tedium is beneath me. Another soul slips beyond the veil. If it serves your cause. No weakness is hidden from my sight. Great hit. I like it. We're putting this down in... Strands of fate guard me. I've suffered worse. <laughs> I've seen worse battles than this in my time. Indeed. I will do my duty. It will be done. Good. Jay could give an extra turn. I think that's okay. I can do that with the right incentive. <sighs> if I fought your faith as the swift, I am not your zenith. I hear you moving. No more. Iridia carefully pulls the threat of the Psy Stifler out of the Farseer's breathless body. A strange device glimmers ominously in her hand. It's difficult to tell if the dim light, if the threats are moving on their own, or if it's because her whole body is trembling. That Xenocycan. Did you see his eyes before he attacked us? It was like there was no li light uh, left in them at all because of this thing. I don't want to die, but I don't want to live like this either. If it means I'll stop being myself, then what's the point? I do not have the resort to a solution like this. There are other ways my kind has technology devices that are not designed purely to scorch the soul. Oh yeah, Red, I'm sure they do. As soon as I visit the nearest and dearest, I'm sure they welcome me with open arms. Break that ab abdominal device. Um, your uh, robbing or your soul is never the way. Yes, yes, you're right. That crap isn't worth it. Time to accept the inevitable. I can entertain these fantasies of nice, long-lived, but all uh, all alike. It's uh, ever that's ever what's going to be fantasies. Pretty tales to tell over a glass of Amasek to make real life seem less shitty. The reality of the situation is ugly and merciless. I'm a psyker. My abilities are getting more and more out of control by the day, which means I'll go out like any psyker should. Best I can hope for is that it'll be so freaking awesome and heroic that you'll be telling the stories of uh, to my grandchildren for ages. Thank you, Psyker. Thank you. Pretty sure we're done here, Lord Captain. Mind letting me know when you have some time to me on the ship for me on the ship want to talk to you about my plans in the future. Can we go now? Still have a whole life uh, to get on with.
the world will bow. Uh, generally, yes, we can go. More specifically, more specifically, oh, this was crazy. The healing is much appreciated. Your seneschal is always there for you. All right, Farseer is gone. That's interesting. 10% armor penetration for every level of the wielder's psi rating. And then medium armor with 60 armor. Did you want I have something? to wonder, is uh, that better? She can't take Alderi. But for someone with a high willpower, it's not a bad set of armor. They're trying to tell me something. The world trembles beneath my feet. The tank is filled with a repulsive green liquid containing a mutilated figure. It's difficult to say whether you're looking at a Xenos, a mutant, or a machine. Well, I tread a path at least these things weren't uh, mm, being brought to us. Last fight again. Uh, we, we are running into the problem that now. Marasai here and and uh, Jay both have the situation that they can't really hit. Marasai is not a tank either. I will need him to uh, to hit a little bit better. He does have a good weapon skill. His perception is so and so. I think when he hits multiple times it's fine. Um The Thality is specific assassin's parameter that equal to dodge or dodge reduction, whichever is higher. Yeah, we don't have that much dodge reduction, and dodge reduction with him would be great because then he can hit better. Armor penetration and partially par parry is ignored. This one is good, that's very important. This is just 3% dodge reduction. That's not great. Yeah, well, that's the problem. We need to find something that allows him to hit better. Critical damage. Let me just double check real quick. Good. I consequently equipped dodge reduction and other uh, stuff so that at least he should be able to hit. And with that, we hopefully can uh, bring it further forward. Um, good. I think we did what we could in order to uh, to up Marazai's game. Uh, game. But uh, yeah, the extreme high dodge values and the also extreme high uh, character values make it difficult. I think what we will need is uh, my a little bit more stats on him as well. Plus 17 on all characteristics goes a long way. And of course, uh, Uriot, for instance, has had uh, these uh, options. So I think Jay will uh, just need to buff him a little bit better. She even has plus 19. If you do it right, then that is 
uh, then you can do a lot with that. Okay, but uh, that is it for now. We're going to do the flesh carver in the next episode. Thanks a lot uh, for watching, guys. Still trying to figure out how to deal with that party, but I think we're on a fair way. Until then, take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.